on Facebook. I, uh, I corralled one of my colleagues to come in because she's better dressed than me and probably more prepared to talk to the world on the topic at hand. Uh, welcome Natalie Story, our residential sales consultant to, to the day. Hey guys, don't uh, let Jacob give me too much credit here. <laughs> So Natalie is on the front lines talking to a lot of our um, do-it-yourself customers, the direct to, direct to residential people. And because of COVID-19 and coronavirus, we've seen um, an, an uptick in uh, people asking questions about DIY projects. And we think that is most likely because people are quarantined at home. As you can see over my shoulder, I'm in my son's, you can't even see, I've got rocket ships on the wall behind me. I'm in my son's bedroom hiding from everyone. Natalie's in her beautiful living room area that just looks so much nicer. And everybody else has a story like that. So they're home, they want something to do. And so I was hoping Natalie could give us some insight into where uh, a do it yourself or might start with a project. So I'm, I'm excited to, to have you on. So thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. So let's kick this off real. What would be the, the first thing you would tell someone to do when they're starting to plan for their uh, do it yourself wine wall or wine cellar project? You want to kind of think about what um, what your collection looks like, uh, what size bottles you're looking to store, how expensive of bottles you're looking to store. <laughs> And what uh, what comes along with that? And why would why why is that so important as a, a starting point? Um, well, you want to determine whether or not you need cooling, and that kind of helps you know if it's a project you can do yourself or if it's something you're going to want some help with. Yeah, I would imagine that we uh, we don't recommend a lot of do it yourselfers install the cooling themselves. <laughs> right, right, there's uh, quite a bit of steps to doing so. Okay, so um, let's presume that the person has said, uh, I'm drinking two buck chucks, so I don't need cooling. What, uh, what is the next thing that you would advise them to do? Awesome. So I would advise them to kind of check out our website and see what line you're looking at, what style of racking you want to go with. And we can kind of talk about your space and what will fit in there together. Uh, one cool thing with Vintage View is we do a lot of product training. So I've had, you know, hands-on experience installing some of these. So I'm happy to walk you through that as well. Absolutely. And so that's one of the funny, I, I use that that a lot in talking to people. I'm not handy at all. And I've figured out how to, um, how to measure, how to install most of our wine racks. So um, we, we hope that everyone calls you and, and or looks up uh, us on the website. Um, if they're trying to do this in the middle of the night to place an order, what would be a really important step to make sure they get the right stuff in their space? Um, placing an order online in the middle of the night? <laughs> oh, anything. You know what I mean? Like if, if, if they're doing it on their own without your guidance, you know, like what, okay. um, how, where would you, where would you direct them? Like what, what's um. a... We've got a lot of resources on our website about spacing and uh, installation instructions. We have a lot of helpful videos, so it kind of shows you exactly what you need to do to install those and measure out your space. We kind of work with a 13-inch centerline for, for standard bottles, and so that can help you determine how many columns of, of wine you can fit on your wall. Um, you brought up two things that were really important. One, um, or one to, one to just, so when we say 13-inch centerline, it's a really important for the homeowner to understand all of our racking or most of it is label forward and a bottle of wine is about 13 inches wide. So that's a good thing to spatially, you could just divide your, your wall by that, you know, the width by that to understand it'll fit. And then you mentioned measuring. Um, that is something that I can't stress enough how often people should measure their space, measure it again, and then measure it probably five more times. Um, I'm sure you see this a lot, a lot, do a lot of folks, I mean, they, they order too many racks or not enough because they miss miss that right right yeah and 13 is kind of the the closest you can get those columns together but if you're looking to kind of have a little more space between wine you can definitely you know space that out further and uh in terms of like understanding so you you and i have both installed all these racks before or most of them anyway um what uh do you have any rules of thumb you'd give a client to um understand if they're if they have the skill set to install our wine racks yeah, so if you've kind of drilled into drywall before or you're familiar with, um, you know, finding a stud or determining what kind of racking uh, hardware you need to use, 
Uh, I like I've told many of my customers that I'm able to do this, so most people should be able to do that as well. But yeah. yeah, it's just just a general knowledge of products or like not products, but installation yeah. of things. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's measure level repeat. I remember that when I installed these racks before I worked with Vintage U, I installed them myself. And this was before we started sending the hardware. So I was like digging in buckets. I've always been afraid of po poking holes through my wall. <laughs> I think that's my biggest fear point. But if you can get over that, I feel like if you don't mind essentially drilling that that hole that's like this big <laughs> into into a into a wall you're you're pretty good um Toggle what are the that we use in drywall to hold our racks can can cause that big hole you have to drill there uh, absolutely and that, it just i guess until you get comfortable in drywall and that's that's it it's easy and the great news i would give any any perspective diyer out there if you poke a hole in the wrong part for drywall, you can easily still patch it up. So there's, there's never like a no going back zone. Um, and then uh, any other closing tips or do you, you know, like what else do, would you tell a, a, a homeowner other than to call you and have, have you walk them through every step? Because by the way, if you call Natalie, she will make this process like super easy for you. Um, she is one of the, the highlights of the Vintage U team. Yeah, I definitely say give me a call. That's my favorite part of my job is just talking to people and kind of getting a sense of their space and their style. Um, we've got, like I said, a lot of great resources on our website to use as well, but I'm happy to walk you through that process. Uh, we start the design process uh, with Vintage View kind of works where you have three complementary designs to start with. So we kind of use that first one as a as a jumping off point and, and see what's going to fit in your space and how you like the look of the layout. And then we can kind of go from there. Uh, if your dimensions change, we can work that in as well. But yeah, just give me a call and I'm happy to walk you through it all. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, you, your boss just said best service ever. And uh, that is actually true. You do give the best service ever. And we're starting to get some nice comments from a lot of people. Love Vintage U Wine Racks from Patrick Smith. Thanks for everything. A couple of our colleagues are giving a cheers. We have a, a happy hour coming up in a little bit. What are you going to be drinking just so we can, uh, so the world can know where your, your drinking pleasures take you? Uh, today, I think I'm going to start with a uh, nice blonde beer from Kona. <laughs> There you go. Um, I think I'm going to, I don't even know. I'm going to dig in and get something geeky for, for, cause I'm, I'm a wine geek. I, I can't help myself. Maybe, maybe something from Colorado. Um, Stephanie Caldwell, Natalie is the best. She helped me step by step. And now I have a beautiful wine rack in my home. So see, that's, that's the, res that's the respect you get. I don't ever get comments when it's just me crickets you come on and everyone's like we love natalie we love nobody's saying we love jacob let's just be very very clear there uh we're gonna link up after this we'll link up a lot of uh a lot of um resources that natalie just spoke about so that you can get the spec sheets and installation things and and feel very comfortable and really looking you know if you're you're ready for a do-it-yourself project give natalie a call she can help you through that if you don't need design you can get some some really, uh, you, she can help you get the stuff like in a matter of days. So you can start not this weekend, but next weekend. And then depending on how many other, you know, planning pieces you need. But in any event, we're all stuck at home. Let's build a wine wall. Have That's some right. fun. That's so, right. Uh, Natalie, thank you for, for, for joining me. I know this isn't your favorite thing in the world to get on uh, a broadcast. You did wonderful. Awesome. And, thank you. And uh, yeah, for those of you watching and share this with your friends and give me a call and I'll help you get a awesome wine display in your home. Absolutely. Thank you, Natalie.